but he did have a bite history to his owner, typically around thresholds, doorways, that kind of thing. So I get him, and the first thing, thing I do is I click that clicker, and I literally saw his, his brain explode. He was like, I don't, where to, don't know where to get the food. So he was looking at my hands. He was looking at the ground. He was uh, looking in the sky. He was like, I have no real clue what the click means. So I ditched the clicker, put it in my pocket, and I taught him to listen to multiple markers and allowed him to kind of get away from that arousal that the clicker had given him and taught him a different multiple marker system. What is the function of a marker, whether it's a multiple marker system or just a single marker? What is the function? Well, I like to call it a bridge between the behavior and reinforcement. Technical terms, bridging stimulus, an event marker. Good. Good. So I just started out with simply quickly feeding food after I said the word good. And the dog started to think, okay, every time that word happens, she's going to shove food down my throat. Actually, I'm going to give it, deliver it to her, what we call room service. And so she started to be a little bit more patient. So I was starting to be able to add a little bit more of a delay between the word and the delivery of the food. I'm going to start here first with a marker cue loop where you can see him responding to a sit cue. And every time he sits, sit, scatter. the reinforcement comes in a different way, which means that his body position is different. Sit. 